morning everyone, I hope you're well. I'm gonna show you my pinhole from Florida. You ready? Let's start it. Hit it, maestro. pinhole as you know glasses on oh I've just sorted through the the bag that I had in the photo and they weren't all mine they weren't um I did get some for my friends and I also got some for trading as well because oh I am so nervous in about two and a half hours the pin tickets go on sale for Epcot so to keep myself occupied I'm filming some videos so Pins is quite an apt one to do, isn't it? Right, so, shall I show you what I've got? I've got lots to show you. And of course, I've got my new pin board. So if you haven't watched my haul video yet, go across and watch my haul video, because you'll see all the wonderful things I've, I've got. And you can find so many goodies on the internet, it's untrue. So this is my new pin board. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore this. So, and this was by Graham Crafters, and I'll put their, in, their, their details down below. Lovely, lovely people, and uh, yeah. This is the first time I've come to use my board to show you my pins. So hopefully I can zoom in and be in focus. That's the plan. That's my plan. Right, so I put it on my lap already. So what did I get? I got some boxes so we can do some mystery and boxes. So I was able to get, I need two pins, I think it is, from the Small World set. Um, so they had four boxes in the Contemporary. So I was able to pick them up. So... Fingers crossed I can complete them. And hopefully I can help my friend Dana complete her set as well. Um, Dana's the mouse diva, if you don't know. Um, and we're diva sisters. Um, so yeah, so I've got those. I then got eight boxes of the Chinese Zodiac because there's actually 12 pins in this set. Um, and I got eight boxes because the plan was I met Beth. Beth Lung and her husband Johnny while I was there. And we were going to record a video, but just time run away with you it really does and when you're on holiday it's different to when you're at home isn't it to to sort times out so hopefully when i'm on my own there um for the pin event that we can film a video then so that'd be great so i'll have to get some new boxes because i can't wait till what august the 9th 8th 9th 10th something like that to open them so i've got those and then i've got seven boxes of these the adventure set now, I'd never opened any until this trip. And I opened these, and this was the box set I used. You know, Karen G.O.S. Adventures. Adventure is out there. Thought it was apt. So that if anyone came up to me, we opened a packet of pins together. Um, so, yeah. So, I opened a packet with Shannon, and she'd already got these. So, she gave me the Mickey pin. Oh, what am I doing, Karen? You got a new pinball, girl? What's wrong with you? Take the box off. And show everybody, if I can get the back off that is. Gosh, they really put these on. So the first pin. Yeah, I love it. I love it. What's it? I love it, love it, love it. Is that soft? <laughs> I'm still trying to think. I'm sure it is somewhere in the world, but look. Oh, isn't this pin board fabulous? And look, it doesn't fall off. Oh, I'm going to have to get me some more of these. They do them all black and they do them with the red accessories as well. Oh, Lauren, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm sure that's a song. So this pinboard's a winner. Yay! Right, what else did I get? Oh, I got a couple of packets of the hidden mystery pouches because I was going to open them while we were there. But Phil... Well, let's face it, he's not Blake. Phil does not like to open pins. He probably does, but he'll never admit to that. Whereas me and Blake have a night. We open them in the room when we go on our, our mum-son trips. And, um, yeah, he pretends to be all my friends opening pins. And me as well. He does. He does. He's got Melissa down to a tea. <laughs> oh, yes, 
so much fun we do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to give a clip round his ear when you see him, Melissa. Right, so then, what else did I get? Right, it was the Star Wars 30th while we were there. So, um, yeah, some beautiful pins, some beautiful, beautiful pins. I was able to get the limited edition pass holder pin. Um, and that's it on its card. I was so pleased to get that. I thought it was fabulous. And I was able to get Blake one as well. And this full price is $17.99. So I'll put that on my little board to show you properly in a minute. Oh my, I'm loving this board. I'm really loving it. Then we had a couple of limited releases. So I'm just gonna put those straight onto the board because the board is the thing, it really is. I love, love, love this, love it, love it. Um, oh yes. Right, so I'll do that after. So the, the other two limited release pins they had were just a general limited release with a 30 on. So you've got the gray one, which doesn't have the year on it. And then you've got the blue one that does have the year. But aren't they pretty? I really like those. And I think the blue one looked better on the paper, but the grey one, there's just something about it in person. So, yeah. Are you loving my pin board? Because I'm loving my pin board. <laughs> this isn't a pin video. This is an I love my pin board video. Are you all right with that? much choice do you but anyway well I suppose you could turn off but um yeah I like this but this look fab in someone's house and they do all different pin boards so you name your character and they'll do it for you um I'm gonna order a couple more for my next trip I am because I think these are fabulous and uh yeah I think it's fabulous right so, what else did I get? I don't need to put these on the board. This is just a limited release. And these were $29.99. And when I saw this set on the flyer, I wasn't like impressed. But look at it close up. Look how pretty they are. So you've got the Kermit there. You've got Olaf. Woody. BB-8. Mickey. And... You have got darlings whose name escapes me at the moment. I can't believe her name escapes me. But darlings, yes. And this is a limited release. And this is $29.99. And these are really pretty pins. So, yeah, absolutely adore those. Then there were some uh, limited release pins, limited edition pins while I was there. While I was there, the 101 Dalmatians pop-up limited edition book came out. You've got P Pongo and Perdita on the front. And if you open it up inside, you've got them inside with some of the pups. And look, it's a pin on pin. And you've got the story. Isn't that lovely? I thought that was amazing. I was gobsmacked that they didn't sell out of that one while I was there. I also got... The Lady, I also got the Lady and the Tramp vinyl and they only had one. I got a couple of my friends asking for it but I could only get one for myself. And that comes out like that. And they had sold out and that was just by chance, by fluke, that they had that. Um, I think that was in Animal Kingdom actually. Um, but I really like that. I'm thinking I'm starting a dog collection now. There's was that one. It was also Earth Day when I was there and um, we did actually go to Animal Kingdom that day. I forgot what we did. I think we were really tired. I can't remember. I think we might have gone to Epcot. Um, but there's Simba on the limited edition Earth Day pin. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's a pin on pin as well. Look at that with a world. Isn't the colours are amazing and that's $16.99 and they sold out of that one as well. Really like that one. 
while we were there it was actually dapper day as well um and so i got the fine and dandy dapper day pin with mary poppins and the penguins oh bert get the popping the penguins popping off me <laughs> oh it's mary poppins they're not popping penguins oh my word karen and it's a double you see it's pin on pin there that's really pretty. They had loads of the leaves left. They tend to have the, the Dapper Day pins. They always tend to have those left. And that's $16.99. They did the Teacher's Day release while we were there. And it's my look. So I had to get the Teacher's Day pin release. Look at that. And again, the pin on pins. Mike's a pin on pin. And the colours. So normally I wouldn't get anything like that which says it on. But because he was on it and I thought it was funny because he's learning how to scare. Um, I've picked that one up. We weren't actually there for uh, Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. We landed on the 5th of May. So technically, I think I was still in American airspace. <laughs> or maybe not with the time difference. <laughs> but anyway, I got the pin. And it's the Me Mexican Pavilion and Donald. And to start with, I thought, oh, is it a small world? And then I realised, no, it's the Mexican Pavilion the Mayan towers behind and again another pin on pin really pretty I love the colours in that it really shocked me that the next pin didn't sell out while I was there and that's the limited edition Mother's Day pin with Mulan and it really shocked me there was loads and loads and loads of them left it's a very pretty pin but they didn't sell out and I was I was quite shocked by that so Mulan with her mom and her grandma. Very the one pin I didn't buy was the nurse's one because when I looked at it, I thought, oh, it's nothing I collect. I don't think it would be a very good trading pin to grab one for, for Epcot. Sold out. Sold out within the first hour. Sold out. I was amazed. It was a Mickey head with really bright pink sparkles. But then you just got nurse's day and a steth steth stethoscope stethoscope upon there um yeah and i should have got one shouldn't i that would have been a good trader for epcot but i didn't then i did get myself one small world open edition pin and that's the purple it's a small world and that's a silver price tag so it's 9.99 i haven't got that one i had to get that one the last pin i then got from the pin release for may the 4th was the limited release uh, stormtrooper but the jumbo one had sold out and I was absolutely gutted. I was absolutely gutted that I couldn't have got it for $55, less my discount. Um, and in fact, myself, Mitzi and Melissa have all ended up buying it off eBay because um, they go straight onto the eBay. We saw everybody leaving the parks with their bags full of the pins. Um, and instead of $54 less discount, mine was $99. A lot of money, but I'd... I'd promised Blake one and he hadn't come on way with us um, and I felt dreadful I couldn't get him one um, so yeah so we got one of those coming so I'll show you that one when it comes and I suppose really where Star Wars pins don't normally sell out because it's the opening year of the Star Wars land in both parks then then it's just really popular isn't it and people are collecting it so um, so yeah so those are all the pins I bought in the park but I went to Booster Packs and beyond. I did. And I videoed it. I did. And I was really good. Probably too good. <laughs> Probably much too good. First pins I bought from Booster Packs and beyond were the rest of the pins to my, my Sleeping Beauty set. I have completed. I have completed it. So I have got the one with the three fairies. The one with Melissa, Maleficent and the spinning wheel. The one with Briar Rose. Then down here I have got... Oh, there's another one there. Hiding, hiding. You've then got uh, Briar Rose as a baby with her mum, the Queen. We have then got... Oh, I'm trying to see it backwards here. We've got Prince Philip. Prince Philip with the horse. And we've got us pricking her finger on the spinning wheel. So that now means I have officially completed my uh, Sleeping Beauty set which I'm really pleased because I had no more in the parks to trade for them it's really difficult because it's like a collection pin isn't it it's really difficult to get what you want and I needed seven I'd only bought four boxes and I got seven pins out of the eight 
Um, and so now I've got the other the other sort on complete. So I was absolutely thrilled when I saw that. Also, I had to have this when I saw this. And this one, when it went up for sale, was $15. And I did pay $25. And it is from 2015. But it's immaculate. It's in the original baggie, which doesn't even look like it's been opened. And it's a small world holiday edition. And look, his head rocks. Isn't that pretty? So you've got Goofy and Mickey as toy soldiers. Small world clock. I just think that's really pretty. And that one is a limited edition of 2000. So the fact that in, what, three and a half years, it's only gone up by $10. That's not bad, is it? Immaculate condition as well. And the backer card. So I, when I saw that, that was the first thing that went straight into my basket. And then I only bought one more. I was ever so good or stupid, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, and I've been looking at this and I've been trying to win this on daisy pins on one of their pin opportunities that they do. Um, and I'll link them down below. They're really lovely guys, Alex and Stacey. So go and check them out. Um, and I had to do not Ellie and Carl, look at that. And look, look how concave that is. Look at it. I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. And it's a studio store of Hollywood pin. And you've got all the waffle cones on the back, all the ice cream cones. And I just, I just think it's really beautiful. It'll look lovely on my... Ellie and Carl pin board. So those are all the pins I bought. Not as many as I'd normally get, but then I'm, I'm ordering every week, aren't I, from, from my contacts in the parks. Um, Savannah said it quite correctly. She said, Mom, how on earth have you got that many pins when you buy them every week anyway? <laughs> how do you answer that? I'm a shopaholic. Shopaholic. So yeah, so those are the pins I've got. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, there's a subscribe link even at the end of the video. Um, and if you click that, it doesn't mean you're gonna be charged, just means that I become one of your favorites in your news feed. And also, if you click the notification bell, YouTube will send you an email letting you know when I've uploaded a new video, and then if you, something you're interested in, you can watch it. Um, I love that, because it's been about being in the loop. I'm nosy and I always like to be in the loop and know what's going on. So yeah, so that's what I do. But thank you so much. Be good, be kind, take care of yourselves and I'll see you really soon. Bye for now everyone. Bye.